We're drawing a big juicy hamburger today. Toasted bun, lettuce, tomato, cheese, the meat, and anything extra you'd like to add into your layered burger. We're gonna use oil pastels to color it, and I'm gonna show you a technique on how we can blend those colors together to get highlights and shade to make your burger look layered and super delicious. So let's go create that burger. We need a few supplies today to get our burger onto paper. You're gonna need white paper, a tan or a yellow colored pencil, a marker to sign your name in the end, and then oil pastels. And then you're gonna need a paper towel or scrap paper, and I'll show you what that's for once we get to the coloring portion with our oil pastels. And then you may also want something to protect your work surface. We're gonna draw the outline of our burger together using the colored pencils. We're gonna begin with the top bun and then we're gonna work our way down the paper, adding in all those goodies until we get to the bottom bun. So to draw the burger, I want you to use a light colored pencil, whether it's a tan or a yellow, and draw light enough on your paper so that you can see the burger, but not pressing too heavy, because we're gonna go back over our colored pencil lines using the oil pastels, and we're gonna color in all those shapes, and we're gonna add in highlights and shadows to really give it some dimension. So for the burger project, using your white paper, you can turn your paper horizontal like I have mine, or you can make it vertical. The direction is completely up to you. I'm going to work with my paper horizontal today. And as we work through the burger, as we draw each piece, I want you to remember that anything we draw has lines. It has shapes. And if we think of an object, specifically our burger, in shapes and lines, it really helps to simplify the drawing process. So if you're looking at a burger straight on, it's straight in front of you, think about what the top bun of the burger would look like. What kind of line is the top? What shape does the bun appear to be? And that's how we're going to think about this burger as we draw. So if I look at a burger front on, I see the bun is a half circle. That top part kind of looks like a dome shape to me. So find the from the top part of your paper to the middle part. I want you to find that space in between and then using your colored pencil, we're gonna draw that top line of the burger. So to me, it looks like a dome shape, so a nice curved line to represent the top part of your bun. So as we connect those two lines, we're gonna kinda wave our pencil across the paper until we reach the other line. Now our top bun is done, we're going to begin to layer in the good stuff. So below the top bun, we're going to add in the lettuce. So right underneath your line for the bun, we're going to add in some curved lines and some, a lot of sharp edges to represent the lettuce. So draw a curved line coming down and outside of your burger. And then we're going to point it back up toward your burger line. And then we're gonna make our way across with these sharp up and down lines. That some can come farther down, curved lines, sharp lines, and then come all the way outside your burger bun. And then we're gonna kind of curve our line with some bumpy texture back to the top part of the bun. Now below your lettuce, we're gonna add in tomatoes and we're actually gonna do two tomatoes. We're gonna make a smaller one on one side of the burger and then a smaller piece on the other side. So beginning on the left side of your burger, from your lettuce line, draw a curved line, a short curved line coming down and toward the outside of your burger. And then at the bottom of that line, we're gonna draw a small, slightly curved line up toward the top and then you can curve that line back up to meet your lettuce line. So now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So just under your lettuce, take your colored pencil and draw a short curved line going toward the outside of your paper, and then a very long curved line coming back in. Now at any point, if you are drawing these curved lines and you run into lettuce that is hanging over, you can go right to the lettuce line, pick up your colored pencil, pretend you're still drawing that tomato line, and then when the lettuce ends and you meet that line, put your colored pencil back down and then finish that tomato line. So your tomato can run 
right into the other tomato. It can stop at a lettuce line. It's up to you. If you want to put in things like pickles or red onions, jalapenos, or maybe even bacon, this would be a good time to pause the video, add in that extra special topping, and then join back in for the cheese and the burger part and the condiment to complete your burger. But if you're ready to follow along and keep going with the cheese, let's move on to melted cheese. That's one of my favorite parts of the burger. So just under the tomato on the left part of the paper, we're gonna draw a small curved line coming out beyond the outside of the burger. And then at the bottom of that line, we're gonna go up and back around. So we're gonna take our line up and curve it back down. And then we're gonna go up again and curve it around just to the outside of our burger. And then we're gonna bring that line back in to meet the line of our tomato. So there's our cheese. Now we're gonna move down to the burger part. So if we think of ground beef, it's usually bumpy, it has some texture to it. So our edges are gonna be a lot of small curvy lines, a lot of bumpy lines. So beginning at the outer edge of your cheese over on the left side, we're gonna draw some bumpy lines, these short curved lines going in and out, straight down. And then we're gonna draw the same kind of lines all the way across our burger. So these up and down, up and down, curvy, sharp lines all the way to the other side of the bun. And then when you reach the other side, bring your lines straight up to meet your cheese. So now we're gonna continue on with the condiments and then the bottom bun. We're gonna put in a kind of drippy sauce. So maybe you like mayo or ketchup, maybe even mustard or hot sauce, or maybe you like a combination of any of those. So under this burger part, these bumpy lines that we're, we just drew, we're gonna add in the sauce. So right over on the left side of this bumpy line of the burger, we're gonna draw a curved line coming down just a bit, then we're gonna loop it around with a curved line coming up and then close, we're gonna stay kind of close to the burger part. Just draw these curvy wavy lines and then you can, come, you can come down at one point again and then curve your line back up. This kind of gives the effect that your sauce is dripping and then kind of curve these long curvy lines and then round it back up to your burger on the other side. Now we're on to the last piece that holds all these layers together, the bottom bun. So I want you to go back to the top bun and look at this outer line here. And then using your finger, I want you to follow this imaginary line all the way down below to your condiment sauce. That's where we're gonna begin our bottom bun. So wherever this imaginary line ends near your condiments, I want you to choose a spot on the bottom condiment line and draw a short straight line kind of angling in towards your burger. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Look at your top bun, find the outer line, follow this imaginary line all the way down to your condiment sauce. Place your pencil on the paper and draw a straight line coming in towards the inside of the burger. And then we're gonna connect those two lines. But remember, a burger is not completely straight. It's definitely not perfect. So this line can be a little wavy, a little curvy as you make your way from one line to the other. So there is your completed drawing. I want you to think about when a burger is actually brought to you and it's hot and it's messy and it slides all over the place. So even if your burger is not perfect, that is completely fine. That makes it even better and it's gonna look delicious once we put all those colors into it. Now we're on to my favorite part. We're gonna take this burger to a whole new level using color from our oil pastels. Now oil pastels are creamy and they glide right on your paper. They're covered in this paper and if your paper gets in the way, if your oil pastel gets below that, you can just kind of use your fingers and peel off that paper so you have more of the oil pastel to use. And as you're coloring, you can kind of just hold it like you would a pencil or a crayon. And if you're pressing down and your oil pastel breaks like that, it's completely fine. You can even use these tiny pieces and still get your color in. So definitely save all of those. 
Now there is one thing that I want you to be aware of when you're using these. So as you begin to switch out your colors, I always want you to look at the tip of your color before you get started and put it onto paper because that may there may be leftover color from the previous time that you used it. So that's why you have a paper towel and even scrap paper. So you can use the paper towel to gently clean off the tip of your pastel. So you can just twist your pastel and get it until it's clean and rid of any extra color or you can even take your scrap paper and just draw on the paper, getting rid of the extra color until it's back to the color that you need. Now one other note is as you begin to use pastels in your paper, you may notice that they leave behind some crumbs or just some extra pieces. Resist the urge to use your hand and smear the colors like you typically would do with an eraser because if you smear the oil pastels with your hand then the color will kind of leave your actual piece that you're trying to color so just take your paper and gently you can tip it onto scrap paper or if you have a table protector you can just uh, gently release those pieces onto that so enough talking about oil pastels we actually want to use them to bring color to our burger bun so if you look closely at a real burger, at a real burger bun, the bun has different shades of color. Some have very light areas, that's where the light actually hits it, whether it's the sun or whether it's a, the overhead lighting. So we're gonna add in a few different colors and then we're gonna uh, blend them together to get the look of a real bun. So we're gonna start with the color brown. And we're gonna begin at the top and just work our way to the bottom. So using your brown oil pastel, follow your colored pencil line of the bun, the top part and this uh, bottom part of the bun. Just go ahead and outline those two lines. And you can go over them more than one time. And once you've got your outline with the brown, then I want you to take your tan and we're gonna actually go over the brown. So right over top of the brown, using your tan, follow that line and go all the way around your brown color outline. And you can go over that line once or twice and then I want you to begin to color in the shape of your bun using this tan and going through and following the outline of your brown and then coloring in all that white space for your bun. We don't wanna leave any white space. We wanna color it in nice and solid. Right, once you have a complete solid color, we can't see any of the white, within our top bun. I want you to go back to the brown and we're gonna go back to the top outline and we're just gonna move our oil pastel from the top edge into the bun. Can you see my short straight lines? We're bringing that brown color down into the tan color. So go all the way around from the top to the bottom. Now that we have brought our brown into the tan, now we wanna go back and bring our tan into the brown. So we're kinda, kinda gonna do the same exact thing except the opposite direction. So placing your oil pastel into a tan portion of your bun, now we're going to draw lines into the brown up until the outer lines. So once you've brought those colors together, now we're gonna go back in with our tan again, and we're gonna color in that entire area again from the edge all the way to the bottom. So now your 
bun has a little bit more texture to it. You've got some darker brown spots and some lighter brown spots. But now we're gonna add in some highlights. So the highlight is where the light would hit on the bun. So whether you're eating your bun outside, maybe the sun is shining on a particular spot of your burger, that would be the lighter area. Or maybe you're sitting at a table and you've got an overhead light and it's shining right on a particular area of your, of your bun. So using your white, I want you to pick just one area of your burger. I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose this left side, and I just want you to color in some of that area with your white, oh, mine broke, so I can just use this tip here. Just color in a small space of your burger using your white. Now you're gonna notice that it's not gonna be completely white because we're going over this tan and brown. So you're gonna kinda get this very light this light, uh, maybe you have a light tan color that's appearing. So just go over that with white. And then we kind of want to blend that up. So using your yellow, I want you to go around your white shape using your yellow. So you're kind of going over the tan and the brown and you're hitting just the edges of your white. So we're lightening it up a little bit. Now we want to go back in with the white again and go right over that yellow. And then guess what we're going to do again? We're going to take the yellow and right around the edge of that white that we put in, we're just going to lightly color that around. So as you can see with these oil pastels, what we're doing is we're just constantly layering and layering to get a nice overall look to our bun. So you can take this yellow, you can even spread it out to some of the other parts of your bun around the top, just adding more color in there. And if you're looking at your bun and you want to even lighten up a little bit, I think mine could use some lighter areas, but be careful with the white. Like I said, remember how Oil pastels will pick up other colors as you go over. So mine has a lot of yellow on there, so I wanna clean that off. So I'm gonna take my paper towel and just gently go in a circular motion with my oil pastel and clean that yellow off my white. And now I'm gonna go back on and lighten up my highlight even more. got it light where I like it but now I want to go back in with my yellow and just kind of blend around the white just a little bit more so it doesn't look like just this stark so there is the top of our bun now let's move to the lettuce portion so we've got a dark green and a light green we're gonna actually start with the light green and I want you to outline the shape that you drew with your colored pencil so you've got all those bumpy all those bumpy lines go right over your colored pencil and then once you curve around and you're back to the other side of the bun now I want you to go underneath the brown color the tan color of your bun but being careful not to take the green into the brown so you're going just right underneath the brown all the way across and then you're going to color that entire lettuce shape in with this solid light green So once you have your solid lettuce colored, you may start begin to notice that you've got these, kind of like these little crumbs of oil pastels. So this is where I don't want you to smear it. Just take your paper, gently tip it, 
and then you can see that the oil pastel crumbs just fall onto that paper and then your paper is pretty clean again. So set your green aside and now we're gonna go back in with our darker green. And so up here, just under where the top bun meets the lettuce, this is gonna be a darker area. This is a shadow. So the light isn't gonna typically hit inside where the bun is meeting the lettuce. It's this darker area. So just under the bun where it meets your lettuce, Take your dark green and go through and follow that line, that bumpy, kind of curvy line all the way across to the other side. So once you've got your dark green line across, you'll notice we've got a pretty stark difference between this light green and this dark green. So we wanna blend these together to make it, to smooth it out. So with your dark green crayon, just as we did toward the top with our bun, I want you to draw these short, very short lines, beginning with your green portion and bringing your dark green down into the light green. And now, once you've pulled your dark green into the light green, we're gonna go back with the light green and we're gonna bring the light green up into the dark green. So starting in a dark, or in the light green area, I want you to bring your oil pastel with the light green and bring that color up into the darker area. And you're gonna do that all the way across from one edge all the way to the other. blend this even more, we're going to take a step with black and darken up this edge even just a little bit more. So using your black, pick about two or three spaces right under your bun and just draw a curvy line. So there's one black curvy line, there's another one, and a little black goes a long way. So you don't need a ton of black, just a little bit. So I've got three black areas right under my bun that's on top of my lettuce. Now I want you to go back in with your green again, and we're gonna kinda color all of this lettuce shape in, going over the black, over the dark green, and over the light green again to blend it all together. should be much more blended now with the black and the dark green and the light green. But now where these bottom lettuce leaves kind of stick out, those would be the areas where the light hits them the most because they're sticking outside of the burger. So those are gonna be your lightest areas of the burger. So we're gonna take our white, and again with the white, that's the one that shows up a lot of color. So if you need to clean that off, take your, take your paper towel, clean the tip, Anywhere that your lettuce dips down or dips out, just put a small white color on those tips. And now that you've lightened up those parts, now we're gonna blend them. So take your light green again, and from where the, where the darker green is, just kind of pull that light green into, into the white, just on the edge. And now one more time, I'm gonna go back in with my white and give it just a lighten it up even more. And then you guessed it, we're going back in with the green and pulling the green back into the white. And at this point, if you've got any crumbs on your paper, you can just tip it. And now we can move on to the tomato. So we're gonna start with a red and we're gonna outline both of these tomato lines. So following your colored pencil, use your oil pastel and go right over both lines. And then underneath the lettuce, follow the edge of the lettuce line, careful, being careful, 
trying not to get into the green. And then once you have both sides outlined, you can go in and color those shapes in with your red pastel, making sure to make it nice and solid so none of the white is showing through. All right, now that your red is in there, we're gonna go in with a light pink just in kind of in the middle of an area of your tomato and lighten that up just a little bit. Back with your red and kind of just pull your red in with those short lines all the way around the shape of the pink. Back to your pink, lighten up that shape just a little bit. I'm going very lightly. I'm not pressing too hard with the pink at this point. Once you have your pink in there, we're gonna lighten up that tomato even more using the white. But this time, remember, clean off the tip of that white pastel. Pick a section inside the pink and lighten that up even more. This is the highlight. This is where the light is hitting your tomato. So just some small areas on there. And then once you've got your white in there, take your pink and gently go around the outer side of your white. And you can keep going back and forth between the white and the pink. You can even use the red again if you need to, but you're just working your way to kind of blend those colors together. burger. This may have been where you added in some extra pieces, some other condiments before we went to the cheese. So if you did that, go ahead and stop the video and color those pieces in. But also remember to add in some darker areas and, and some lighter areas and then join in again when you're finished. So if your cheese is your next step, you can keep going with me. We're going to start with yellow and we're going to outline the bottom part of our cheese and then right under our tomato and even if you have some lettuce there, go right under the lettuce and back over and then color in that entire piece of cheese with your yellow pastel. darken up some areas. So remember, towards the center, right underneath the bun and the lettuce and the tomato, that area is gonna be darker because the light is not hitting that spot as well as it is on the outside. So beginning with the orange, we're gonna start with the orange and darken up that area a little bit. So if you've got a tomato corner or lettuce or anywhere inside, we're gonna color that in with some orange. It's going to be really dark so if you have a section like that you may want to use brown and go in that corner and then right under the tomato I'm even just going to do a slight line and then around this tomato over here just a small little line we don't need a lot of brown just a little bit and then going back to the orange we're gonna pull in the orange to the brown going up and then right over the brown if you've got some brown under your tomato go right over that with your orange and I want to get mine even darker so I'm gonna go back to the brown your your shaded part it, it may be good or you may want more brown and then go back in with the orange right over top adding just a little bit of brown right under your tomato. You want to keep that line real thin and then we'll go back in with the orange and go right over the brown. At this point we'll take the yellow and we'll go over everything to blend it and make it look a little smoother. So 
so the cheese points that are curving down, those again would be typically lighter. So we're gonna highlight those using the white. If you need to clean off the tip of your white pastel, do that. And then right on the part of the cheese that curves down, we're gonna lighten up those pieces with our, with our white. So right on the bottom tips, go over the yellow with your white. And once you've lightened up those corner pieces, go back in with your yellow. And you may even wanna clean that tip off. Yellow is a fairly light color. Starting on the yellow side, bring that yellow into the white just a little bit. So now we're on to the actual meat of the burger, this bumpy part underneath the cheese. So we're gonna use the darker brown color and we're also gonna use a tan for the burger. So beginning with the brown, just outline all those bumpy pieces all the way around and then underneath your cheese, carefully draw that line, follow the outline, and then color in that whole shape with your brown. solid brown for your burger. We're gonna go back in and give it some dimension. So when your burger comes off the grill or whether it comes off the pan if it's fried, it has a lot of variation. It has a lot of different colors. So especially if it comes off the grill, you might have some burnt parts, some blackened parts, and then you may even have some lighter parts in your burger. So we're gonna start with the darker parts of your burger using black. So typically around the edges of your burger, you might have a blackened area. So remember black goes a long way. So just a small black line, maybe towards one edge, toward the side of your burger. And maybe another small black line right under your cheese. And then maybe over on the other side of your burger, you've got some black in there. So once you've added in the black, go ahead and take the brown and just kind of pull that brown into the black. Now we have some darker colors in there. Let's put in some whiter colors. So if you still have your tan color around, make some lines. And then go back in with the brown and go over those just, a li just very lightly. And if you even want to add them more. There is our burger part. I typically like a lot of mayo on my burger, so I'm gonna color my sauce, my sauce white and add in a little bit of peach. If your sauce is gonna be ketchup, you may wanna go with a red. If you've got mustard, maybe you wanna use a darker and a lighter yellow, but you can make that sauce color whatever you want. If you want mayo like me, let's start with white. Remember to clean off that tip to make it nice and clean. And then we're gonna outline our colored pencil line, this drippy curvy line, and then right under the burger, we're gonna keep outlining that and then color in the entire shape. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of peach. If you did mustard, maybe go back in with a different yellow to give it some dimension. If you did red for ketchup, go in with a different red or even a dark pink to give it some, some variation. And if you want more color, go back in with the second color you used on that condiment and add in, add it in a little bit more, and then using your first color, go back in and color over it. It's just layer it over layer over layer. That's what makes it so beautiful. All right, once you're satisfied with your condiment color, if you've got any crumbs, you may wanna tip that and let them fall. 
And then last part, we are on to the bottom bun. So just like we did the top bun, we're gonna do the bottom bun very similar with these different shades of color because light hits it in different, in different ways. So again, let's start with your brown and then outline just the bottom line and the side lines. We're not gonna outline underneath the condiment color. And then once you've outlined the bottom portion of your bun, go back in with your tan, go directly over your brown, and then color in your bottom shape. and just kind of put in some spots and kind of blend that tan and that brown together using your yellow. And then I'm gonna take my tan and I'm gonna go over the yellow once more. And now let's take your white and add in some highlights on that. So again, you might wanna clean off your white and just add in some sections. So pick a few areas and color in a little bit of white. Almost finished with our burger. Our bottom bun is done. We've got one more piece on the top part. So if you want any sesame seed pieces on your bun, using your brown, and I've got a whole mix on my tip of the brown, so I'm gonna clean that off. And then for sesame seeds, just short, very short, straight lines in different directions around the top of your bun. And lastly, um, you can add a shadow if you'd like for your bun, or maybe you wanna do something completely different. Maybe you want like rays drawn all the way around your burger. But if you want a shadow with me, I'm gonna put a shadow over here on this, on the right side of my burger. So if the light is hitting over on this direction of my burger, this section of my burger wouldn't see as much light as it would over here. So this section would be darker and typically we would see shadows as like a black or a very dark gray, but this is art. So we can make our shadow whatever color we want. You could do a bright blue, you could do orange, whatever color you want. I think I'm gonna use red and pick up my color of the tomato and I'm just gonna do uh, different size lines kind of around my burger. So starting right on the edge of the bottom bun, I'm gonna draw just a short line and then maybe a little bit longer line underneath. And then right underneath my burger, maybe an even longer line. And then I'm gonna get a little bit smaller with my lines over here. And I'm gonna go back up and do just a few lines there. So that's kind of the base of my shadow. Now I'm just gonna add in more of these lines. So that represents my red shadow. And if you wanna go in and add even a different color for some variation, do that. I'm just gonna take my pink and just kind of follow over my red lines. And last but not least, take your marker and sign your work. You can put your initials, you could sign it with your full name, that's completely up to you. Now that is one delicious looking burger. You all did a great job today. So I hope you all enjoyed adding in all those extra goodies to your burger, coloring, learning a little bit about shading and highlighting your burger. So I hope to see you next time, but until then, keep creating.